SBS Teleclass. Assalamu alaikum. How are you all my learning students? I hope you all are doing well. Alhamdulillah, I am good too. Today Hajimis is going to take a thematic lesson. Are you all ready? Before starting the lesson, let's read the dua. Qawla Rabbi Shrahli Sadri Wa Yassir Li Amri وَحْلُلْ عُقْدَةً مِّنْ لِسَانِي يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي Student, do you know today's topic? Let's find today's topic. Today we are going to learn about the shapes. Okay, today we are going to learn about the shapes. So students, now let's look at our learning intention and success criteria. Learning intention. Today we are going to learn about different types of 2D shapes. Today we are going to learn about different types of 2D shapes. Okay, now let's look at our success criteria. You will be successful if you can identify and name different types of 2D shapes and make a robot using different 2D shapes and then you will be successful in today's lesson. Today you are going to take a close look at four shapes. You are going to look at a triangle, a circle, a square and a rectangle. Today you are going to become a shape expert. But in order to become a shape expert, you need to know three things about each shape. You need to know how many corners each shape has. You need to know how many sides each shape has and you need to know the name of each shape. Before you begin to become a shape expert, you must learn two things. Students, you need to learn about corners. What is corners? Okay. A corner is where two lines meet. And this is called corner. Next you need to learn about sides. A side is the flat surface on the shape. Here are the shape. These are all flat surface on the shape. They are called side. Students, now you are on your way to becoming a shape expert. And now you are going to learn about 
the shapes. Okay students, you are on your way to become being a shape expert and now you are going to learn about the shapes. The first shape you are going to look at it's called triangle. How many corners does a triangle have? Students, how many corners does a triangle have? Can anyone know? Okay, so let's count. One, two, three. So a triangle has three corners. And how many sides does a triangle have? Can anyone know how many sides does a triangle have? Okay, so let's count again. One, two, three. So a triangle has three sides. A triangle has three corners and three sides. And this is the next shape you are going to look at. It's called rectangle. How many corners does a rectangle have? Is there anyone know how many corners does a rectangle have? Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four. So a rectangle has four corners. How many sides does a rectangle have? Is there anyone know? Okay, again let's count. One, two, three, four. So a rectangle has four sides. A rectangle has four corners and four sides. And one thing we are going to look at is the length of the size a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. You are getting closer to becoming a shape expert. Nice job! But you are not there yet. Our next shape is called a square. A square looks like a rectangle except a square has four equal sides. Let's look at the corners. How many corners does a square have? So let's count. One, two, three, four. So a square has four corners. How many sides does a square have? I already told the answer when we started. So let's count again. One, two, three, four. A square has four sides. A square has four corners and a square has four sides. And one thing you have to remember a square has four equal sides. A last shape you are going to look at it's called a circle. How many corners does a circle have? Hmm, this is tricky. A circle has zero corners. How many sides does a circle have? 
a circle has zero sides you cannot remember that because a circle looks like a zero you are almost there you are almost a shape expert keep going let's make a chart we are going to review how many corners and sides does a triangle have a triangle has three corners and three sides and how many corners and sides does a rectangle have a rectangle has four corners and four sides and how many corners and sides does a circle have a circle has zero corners and zero sides and the last one how many corners and sides does a square have a square has four corners and four sides now remember a square has four equal sides and a rectangle has two sides are long and two sides are short you did it and you are an official shape expert so students now it is riddle time okay what you have to do is you have to answer some riddle so here is the riddle one i have three corners and three sides what am i students can you tell the answer and can you guess Okay once again i am going to read the riddle i have three corners and three sides what am i so now you have to tell the answer Yes. I am a triangle. Very good. Now here is the riddle two. I have four sides that are all the same length. What am I? students can you guess and tell the answer okay again i am going to read the riddle i have four sides that are all the same length what am i so tell the answer Yes, well done. I am a square. So the answer is square. And the square has four equal sides, right? and now i am going to show the riddle number 
I have only one curved sides and no corners. What am I? Students, it's easy question. You must have to tell the answer. So you can guess and tell the answer. I am going to read it again. Okay. I have only one curb side and no corners. What am I? Yes, great. I am a circle. So I have no sides and no corners. I look like a zero. Just I look like a round circle. Right? Students, here is the last riddle. Riddle four. I have four sides. Two sides are shorter and the other two are longer. What am I? Students, just think and tell the answer. Now I am going to repeat the riddle. I have four sides but two sides are shorter and the other two are longer. So what am I? So now you give the answer. Yes, superb. I am a rectangle and remember that in rectangle the two sides are shorter and the other two are longer. So students let's do some activity with Hajjamis. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's start. What you have to do is guess my name. Shapes. Read the shape description. What is the name of the shape? It is describing. Write the name of the shape. Take out the correct shape and stick it. And this is the table. And that's other shapes. And these are the cushion. Okay. So the first question is I have four straight sides. All my sides are the same length. So you had to guess the name of the shape. Can anyone guess? What is the name of the shape? I have four straight sides. All my sides are the same length. So the name of the shape is square, right? And we had to take the square on the table and stick it on the shape column, right? Okay, then go to the next question. I have three straight sides. My sides don't always have to be the same length. So students, can you guess and tell me the name of the shape? Yes, it's a triangle. So we have to take it, the triangle on the table and put and stick it on the shape column. Okay, then goes to the 
third question i have one curved side that goes all the way round it's easy right students so tell me the answer tell me the name of the shape yes it's a circle and take the circle and stick it on the shape column right okay then goes to the last question i have four straight sides two of my sides are long two of my sides are short so students can you guess i have four straight sides two of my sides are long two of my sides are short so what's the name of shape yes a rectangle so just take the rectangle on the table and stick it stick it on shape pole so i hope now you know the two d shapes right and here is the task of the day make your own shape robot using different types of 2d shapes and here is the some examples that you can make a robot here is three examples but you have to choose only one and make a robot you have to use a4 size color paper then scissor then gum bottle okay and you have to make only one robot and paste it on your thematic notebook don't forget to write date and day and also you have to draw a margin okay and after finishing your work you have to send me through viber i hope you all got it let's recall our success criteria you will be successful if you can identify different types of 2d shapes and make a robot using different types of 2d shapes that's all for today's lesson i hope you all have enjoyed today's lesson stay safe stay home bye bye